let us suppose I have a relation something like this let us just assume I have one more element over here in B okay and over here let me just assume that this element is related to this element this element is also related to this element okay then this guy is related to this guy and this guy is related to the this element of B now this is called as one to many type of relation because I have over here many elements of my B just look at over here related to one single element of my A because of this reason I call this one to many kind of relation now if I have this guy as A and this guy as B and this as C then in my relation what I have I have A comma B and I have A comma C now as per my definition of a function this should never happen okay therefore this type of a relation is not a function okay so I'm just going to write down over here that this type of a relation is whoops not a function okay and a final type that we have is something called as many to many okay it is going to be the combination of this and a combination of this okay so let's understand what that is let us suppose I have this okay let me just copy this and give you a perspective of what is many to many okay so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to tell you how it differs from many to many so if this is a relation okay this is already one to many right now over here if I also add a new ordered pair which is something like this let us suppose I have an extra element in A whoops okay and this element is related to this guy then this is going to be a many to many kind of relation let us see why over here I have many elements of A okay which are related to the same element of B okay therefore this is what this is many to one okay now we also have many elements of B okay which are related to the same element of A therefore this is also one too many okay so if my function is both one too many and many too many I am going to call this a many too many function okay and because this guy is one too many it is also not going to be a function okay not a function so we have seen four types of relations many to many one to many which are not functions and many to one which is a function and one to one which is also a function okay so that was about what kind of relations can be functions now let's understand one more thing over here let us understand what is the notation of writing an ordered pair as a function so if I have a comma b which is a element of my function f then it implies or then I can write it like this I would say that f of a 
is equal to b okay so in this way you can write down your function saying that the mapping of a in a is b okay something like this so now let us take few examples of functions and examples of something that is not a function okay so let us suppose i have the set z okay z is the set of all integers okay and i have a function which is from z to z okay written as like this okay and z is of the form x plus 2 okay now obviously my f over here is going to be a function okay let us see why let me assume that there exists two elements x1 and x2 okay which are elements of z okay and i assume that a comma x1 okay and a comma x2 are both an element of my f okay so we have to ensure that if this is the case then x1 is equal to x2 okay if we can prove this then we can say that my function f is actually a function okay so let us try to prove that as per my given function okay over here my x1 is going to be what my x1 is going to be a plus 2 right and what is the value of my x2 as per the definition your x2 is also going to be a plus 2 okay therefore you can say that x1 is equal to x2 therefore the given f is a function okay so that is the way you prove that a given relation is actually a function so this guy is a function now let us take something that is not a function okay so let me assume that i have f2 okay which is again from z to z okay and i write f2 as this f2 is sorry f2 of x is equal to root of x now you have to prove or disprove that this is a function okay so again we are going to assume the same scenarios we are going to assume that there are two elements x1 and x2 that belong to z okay i'm going to write over here then we are going to say that there exists two elements or two ordered pairs such that a square comma x1 and a square comma x2 are both an element of f okay so now if we can prove that x1 is equal to x2 then this is a function or if we can disprove that x1 is not equal to x2 then this is not a function so let us see what do we get what is your x1 x per this definition your x1 is going to be x1 is going to be root of a square okay whoops let us assume this is equal to minus of a i can assume this because f is a function from z to z and z is the set of all integers whether positive or negative okay similarly over here 
your x2 is again going to be root of a square okay but I'm going to say that this is plus of a okay now over here your x1 is not equal to x2 okay therefore your f is not a function okay so the basic concept of a function is for each value of your a you should get only a unique element in b okay now in this case if i have 100 then i get two values i get 100 comma 10 also an element of this particular relation and 100 comma minus 10 also an element of this particular relation this is something that a function forbids and therefore this is not a function